okay. Taking a break from chasing the mice. Good morning. Yesterday we swung into town and we, we did a mail pickup and one of the things that, that I picked up was this new vacuum cleaner. This new vacuum cleaner. My old one, my full size shark that I that I had back at my house in New York that I brought with me, it finally gave up. Uh, it was already a few years old when we left New York and it led a little bit of a rough life on the road here. Uh, the hose got old and cracked and the motor finally started making a really odd noise and I couldn't figure it out. And I figured it was just time to retire it. It was not really well suited for the truck here. I had to disassemble it partially and then store it under the bed. So it was kind of a pain. So I wanted to stick with the Shark brand. So I did find Shark Rocket hand vac. Now it says right here, it's the most powerful handheld that never loses suction or power. So let's see if that's true. Okay. User manual. Okay, there's a nice, this is the kind of attachment that I'm looking for. Hose. This is another attachment brush. I'm old school and even though battery technology has come a long way, I still feel like to get real power you need AC, rubberized handle. Okay, it's got the same bagless operation that my other shark had. So you empty it out by opening up this dust bin. It's got a nice, nice seal around here. Clean filter monthly, it says. Now my previous shark, so you've got same, same, same as my full size, it has two it has this filter, and then it has an additional small micron filter. This is the same as my large size shark head, and it's really great to see this in here. Okay, so here's the powered pet brush. So I did notice if I take this hose back off, this, there is an electrical plug here, and so I'm guessing that obviously on this pet brush, uh, okay, so there's the electrical connection right there. So you line those up and pop it on. And so this is actually has a motor in it, which that's probably got some really good draw. Okay. I've got the vacuum in here. I've got it plugged in. I've just got to click on the inverter. Sorry about that. So obviously this is going to be loud. So I'll just put some overlay music on while I'm running this thing and we're going to test it out. I've got the pet brush on and I'm going to hit the carpeting over here and see how it does. Okay.
So far, so good. It's doing really excellent out here with this brush attachment. I'm working my way up to the cab. The cab is uh, gonna be probably a couple of hours. It's really badly in need of a good vacuuming. been at it about 10 minutes I got this side I think you can see quite a difference so the the vacuum a lot of power um, obviously it's very tight spaces in here um, so maneuvering it around any vacuum is going to be difficult plenty of power what I did discover is that this head actually swivels very similar to my full-size shark so it gives you a lot of flexibility uh, getting up in different places so that's that's an added bonus which I I didn't realize that until I started trying to get up into these corners and all of a sudden it, it rotated so that's good so what do I think of the shark 
ultra light vacuum. I like it. Uh, you know, it was about a hundred bucks. I'm not sponsored in any way. I just needed a vacuum and I picked this one out. And because it's so small, way easier to pack up when I'm not using it. I got the cab looking really good, feeling good, about 45 minutes of work. And it hadn't been cleaned in quite a while, so it really needed it. You know, all of you that have pets and dogs, you know you get dog hair. And even though Lefty's a short-haired dog, uh, his little white hairs just get everywhere. But the cab looks much, much better. And definitely back in the house of the truck, I've been using the vacuum back there, and it, it just looks and feels so much better. Uh, so it, would I recommend this vacuum? Absolutely. It's got a lot of power. My previous experience with Shark vacuums, they're good quality. Um, so if you're looking for a good small vacuum, for your rig, I would recommend this one. You give it a look. I will put a link down below in the description if you want to um, click through and, and buy this one off of Amazon. Thanks everybody for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the notification icon and give me a thumbs up if you like it and a thumbs down if you don't.